The movement and takeoff of the 40 Hemswell Lancasters, as stated in the briefing, is achieved with strict radio silence. As one bomber begins its takeoff run, B Victor turns onto the active runway to be held by the controller's red Aldis lamp until the runway is clear. The green. The pilot opens up the four engines and releases the brakes. At the side of the runway, whatever the weather, there is always a small group of station personnel to wave the bombers off. Keeping the bomber on the runway requires intense concentration. If it swings off at any speed, the undercarriage will collapse. Full power. Takeoff boost, 3,000 RPM. The superchargers giving manifold pressures of 14 pounds per square inch. The flight engineer calls the airspeeds as the pilot concentrates on keeping the aircraft straight. 95, 100, 105, 110, the end of the 2,000 yard runway is getting closer and closer. The Rolls-Royce Merlins on takeoff are each developing 1,390 horsepower and are being pressed far beyond accepted peacetime limits as they lift an all-up weight of 65,000 pounds. The engineer holds the throttles wide open against the stops. Undercarriage up. An engine failure now would be fatal. There's 2,154 gallons of high-octane petrol, 10,000 pounds of high explosive, and seven men become airborne. Safety speed, 130 knots. A skilled pilot could now just cope with an engine failure. Slowly, the Lancaster climbs away. 300 feet. Flaps up. Power reduced to continuous climb. Boost plus four.